Hello, this is uh, Sandra Brown of Life Pushing 80, and I thought I'd take you today. Uh, this is Sharon Hilton, and she has a collection of nativities, uh, the nativity sets. She has a collection of how many, Sharon? I counted, I had 236 out today. Oh my goodness. So anyways, I haven't seen it myself, so we thought maybe you'd like to come with us, and she's gonna tell you a little bit but some of the most important ones, right? right? So we can go through it. Okay, Sharon, let's... Okay, honey, wanna start over here with this first one? I can do that. Actually, oh. one of the first ones I got when I moved down here was this one. They're at, this would have been in 2008. Mm -hmm. um, there was like a salvage store in uh, Crab Orchard and this, it was priced at $59 and um, it was a clearance sale after Christmas. I got it for 15. Oh. And, and then the this one, one I just got last year from Bradford Exchange. And that one was quite expensive. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. I love the, they need to see that baby. That's so pretty. Okay. And this is fabric mache. Oh. What they do is they take the fabric, dip it in um, starch, and then while it's I've still soft, that. Yes. they, they uh -huh. mold it. And Show the baby, honey. I did. You did? did. I am. Um, we all got to see the baby. Yeah. yeah. So. And we got those two. This is one that I just got this past summer. Mm -hmm. It's um, a little more modern yeah, version. Yeah, oh, okay. Um, not real crazy about it, but it's different. And I've yeah, got so right. many. You're right, that the same I, thing, right. Yeah, and this one is cement block. Oh. Pick the mat up, we'll give you a hernia. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, the baby is so sweet. Yeah, I love that. They have very nice expressions on their faces. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like that. Yeah. Now over here, yeah, over here, over here, it has to go slow. These, okay. the, these smaller ones in front, I've gotten all of these from Bradford Exchange in recent, last couple of years. Okay. But this one is from 1934. Uh -huh. I got this one at the uh, Rocking Horse antiques oh, okay. and they had gotten it as part of an estate sale and oh, they had really? verification of the age oh, great. and then um, I think it was around night about 2012 a woman came in looking at my sets mm -hmm. and she said would you like another big set she said I killed a big one back in 1967. Is that this one? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. She had moved down here from up north, was living in a condo, and didn't have room for it. Oh. So she, and I said, sure, I'll take it. Okay. So she brought it in, I took it in the fellowship hall, and I'm uh -huh. unwrapping them. And I'm thinking, I've seen this before. Yeah. I've seen this one before. Suddenly dawned on me, they are the very same. Here's oh, the guy with the hat. Here's see. the guy with the hat. Oh my goodness, yes. yes. And Same it's like, set. Okay, wait a minute. I was told this was from 34. Uh -huh. She knew hers was from 67. Yeah. I'm not going to tell people this is an antique if it's not. <laughs> wow. So, but yeah. back then, the there most, was a, a though, ceramic yeah. shop on uh, 70 West uh, in the uh, Pleasant Hill area. And I knew that, the lady that ran that. So I called her and she said, we are using the same mold patterns that they've had since like 1895. I see, wow. So, what about yeah, this, this could have been in 34. And, uh -huh. Yeah, isn't that neat? Yeah. I like this one because yes, that is right he's too. hugging Oh, them. I see, yeah. You wanna get a close up with that one, babe? I can. Yeah, usually they don't have that. He's got his arm around Mary. Yeah, I, I just thought that was That's so, sweet. Yes. so neat. And the baby is so tiny and sweet. Oh, yeah. 
this is really pretty. Yeah. Of course, it makes Mary look very rich. <laughs> <laughs> and over here, I, basically, I got this one out of a dumpster. Oh my goodness. It was a, uh, I was visiting a friend here in the Glade. We were standing outside in her yard and her next door neighbor was clearing out his garage. And so I'll bring these out and lay them next to the dumpster. Yeah, just get up close, honey, and do those, because well, then we'll move along. Because mm -hmm. we have so many. Well, well I haven't talked about those. Yeah, yet. we're gonna just let him see it. And let's keep on. This, this would have been more. pretty realistic size of the baby Jesus. Oh. Yes, it would be. This one back here, I, I was living up in Michigan when I started collecting them. And a friend of mine from Galesburg, Michigan, her husband does all kinds of things with the jigsaw. So she had him take a Christmas card and using that as a pattern, make oh, that jigsaw. I love the way this is cut out too, this glass one is yeah. beautiful. The majority of these I have gotten from the uh, Christmas sh store in Pigeon Forge. It's a very dangerous place for me to be. <laughs> and now this is your and all of these are olive tr from olive, olive trees. Okay, from Israel. And you, okay. you can see from this one here how small a person is. Can you show them that to picture, that olive tree? I, don't know. I might be able to lighten it up later so they can see. See, there's a person. Okay. It's a person. Wow. Big and here's tree. another picture of the trees. What is so interesting is these are called gnarls. Mm -hmm. And there, there are people in the holy lands that all they do is care for the olive trees oh, okay. and they they go in and they cut off these gnarls they call mm -hmm. it harvesting the gnarls mm -hmm. and then, they use and then the gnarls them. are given to the craftsmen oh. who make these and I would think that would be really hard wood though yeah. and this is cherry wood this is a type of reed that grows wild in the swamps of the Philippines Okay. Uh, Oops. And this is a gourd. This is a coconut. Uh, how old were you, Sharon, when you started collecting? Pardon? How old were you when you started collecting? I'd have to think. I I started seriously collecting them back in ninety two in nineteen ninety two. Okay. I was a Christmas around the world demonstrator. Oh, so awesome. I got them at discount. And I've got you going. Now, this one here is special. That was given to me by a friend at the senior center. And her aunt did that back in 1948 when she was 14 years old oh my goodness. as a, a 4-H project for the uh, county fair. Oh, she won the Blue Ribbon. Such a good job she did, yeah. Okay. So, and, oops, oops. In the way. Talk about little tiny ones. Oh, they're small. Oops. See the size of them mm -hmm. compared to my hand? Mm. I think this is neat. My my oldest daughter got this at um, Joanne's Fabrics, and it, it has the oh, it'll the tell story. a story. Yeah, uh -huh. just cut that out. Okay, okay. okay. Over here, over here. Now these. Santa's have the right idea. Yes. In fact, I made one of those out of wood once myself. Yes, girl, so. Yeah. So, and 
pretty pretty much all of these along here are ones I've gotten from Bradford Exchange. That's a lot of detail on that one, doesn't it? Uh, and I like the simplicity of this one too. gonna have to go a little faster we got so many we like to hear all these d details Sharon has so much knowledge on this okay kind of good. This, this is interesting in that I I was given this oh, I think back in 2018 something like that and it it was it needed to be fixed mm -hmm. well finally uh, of course the last two years we didn't have it set up because of COVID mm -hmm. and uh, our, our deacon fixed this for me oh. and then it's like okay now I've get, got this big thing what am I gonna put in what it? Do I got to put in it <laughs> yeah. and a friend of mine who was living in Lake Tansy um, had, has now moved to a condo in Cookville mm -hmm. and she called me and said I've got I don't have all the pieces but I've got a, a good sized nativity set that you can have. Oh, isn't that wonderful? And well, the Lord so always provides, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> this. Oh, this. now, I don't know how briefly we can tell. Sharon was telling me about this little set here. It's made out of wax and it candle was candle wax. Candle wax. It was during the Depression, and as you know, they just saved everything. They saved little pieces of candles and it was your part of your family that was oh, no. a good friend of some good friends there and uh yeah. it was christmas and uh the little girl eight-year-old girl their daughter was very de depressed or not having anything and they used a little bit of uh candle wax that she had and she remembered having a little mold and they took the candle wax put it into the mold and made this little set and the manger that baby Jesus in is from the wings of the angel uh, mold. I say this right, Sherry? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. She says that's very special to her. That one. Yeah, that one is wrapped in flannel and is in my house. Yes. yes. I don't Where it's cool. see that outside at all. Did, you didn't see these. No, we, I took them, but when <coughs> time is... Uh, yeah, we'll get run out of time. So I, I love this one. To me, this says it all. Uh, king size. Oh, king size bed, yes. For the no, king you're size right. Bed. The first. <laughs> and this is styrofoam painted gold. No, for goodness sakes. You never know that. Paid 50 cents for this. <laughs> okay, we've got another room here, friends, that we're going to go through. Several. Several. <laughs> Oh, I guess I didn't see them all. Here is where I have the childproof knit hitters. Oh, it's where children can come in and look and touch, right? And these are totally unbreakable. They can chew on them, they can step on them. Yeah, he doesn't want to stand by them. I can lay down. These are figure puppets from Mexico. Oh, that's one of the wise men. Okay. Yeah, that's important where they can put have hands on with children, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm moving into the next room here. We're at uh, what church? What's the name of the church? What Baptist Church? Fellowship. Fellowship Baptist Church in Crossville, Crossville. Tennessee. Okay. Twelve Westminster Court. Oh my! So. And you just want to scan over these and then maybe she could talk about the, the bigger ones. Yeah, it's a little dark in here. I might be able to edit this, friends, so I can see them a little bit better. Wow. That's all one piece, that one. who 
collect this, they're probably, their eyes are searching through this. <laughs> People who collect nativity. I have a little niece, Sophia, that's, well, she's probably about 13 now. But anyway, she just loves nativity, so that's my book. Yeah, she's going to be a future collector. Yeah, you should be able to, I think. Yeah. Wow. And now I'm gonna say he's getting his exercise. He's getting his exercise. No, go ahead. It's another one without a cement block. Very heavy. Who helped you set all this up? I said it. You did it yourself? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And my, may I ask your age? 84. Really? Ah, oh, Sharon's 84. Isn't this something? She's a lady who sure gets around for 84. She set all this up for sale. Good for you, Sharon. Put that one up there. Oh, I will. Yeah. I paid 50 cents for that one. It was really <laughs> sale. Everybody loves a deal, don't we? And then to know that it's taken care of by someone who treasures. No, this is an unusual one, wouldn't yeah, it? Isn't it? it? And it's got the seven spires. Okay. Where did this come from? This looks like it's uh, maybe from I, Russia or something. I'm thinking it. It looks like it's uh, Russian or you know Orthodox. Definitely. Yeah, it does. This is another set that is fabric mache. Mm -hmm. I even got a little lamp. It's well, kind of sweet. Oh, and I like those little baby Jesuses. <laughs> so cute old faces. <laughs> I, I love these horns of children. I do too. <laughs> now, where did this one come from? That is from Germany. Uh, on the bottom of the box, it, it says 1957, and it's old enough that it doesn't have a barcode. So, oh, okay. and it, you know, it's got the, the things that you bring out and put a can yeah. in. Oh, yes. And that will spill the wheel. Yeah, and yeah. then the heat makes, of course, we're not allowed to do yeah. that. Yeah, right. This is American Indian. Oh, yes. Some more children. Here's Eskimos. Eskimos here, yeah. Here's bears and more bears. Yeah. Okay, I don't know about this, guys, but baby Jesus is a bear. I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> but cute. it's so cute. Right? Yeah. And this, uh, a fella in Spring City makes those. And when you put them all oh, together, it's a they fit. It's a puzzle. Oh, okay. And that one's another puzzle. puzzle. I oh. figured open one and <laughs> yeah. leave the other one out. Okay. Here's a barnyard. Here's snowman. Here's dogs. Here's cats. This this is one of my favorites. My my friend Michelle Cannon from Wild Wildwood Stables. Mm -hmm. She did that for me. Just looking at a Christmas card, it, it's oh, just in colored so pencil. Uh, and this, is this one is, is this unique. One? Okay. That first of all, they they you know it's the the fabric. And the, um, mm -hmm. like a wool, almost. right? But this is the wise men coming to the house where the young child was. Mm -hmm. Now I don't think by that time he would have been in a manger, but about two years old, I hear. Yeah, uh, yeah. And they figure it between six months to two years. Yeah, because Pharaoh. Well, they were killing all the two-year-olds and under, right? Yeah, so he wanted to make sure. Two years and under. Yeah. So they were 
covering their yes. bases. Yeah. So guys, we hate to burst your bubble, but uh, the wise men weren't at the at the nativity scene. They weren't. They no. were in the manger <laughs> scene. But yeah. you know, yeah. it's all okay. They came, but it was like maybe, like she said, about two years later yeah. that yeah. happened. But uh, yeah, we had an interesting sermon about that star. That was very very interesting Sunday. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, guys, I don't know how long this was. Is the show time in there, honey? Uh, we got 20 minutes. That's, okay, that's about it. I probably should quit. And to Sharon, wave goodbye to everybody. Wait, are you going to... Oh, and I was going to ask him to subscribe. And what else? Scripture. Scripture. Oh, gosh. For, oh, let me say this right. For, <laughs> for unto us a child is born, unto, unto us a son, a son is, is given. given. And the government yeah. shall rest and upon on his, his shoulders. shoulders. Mm -hmm. No, wait, it was more to <laughs> Yeah, well, but the, the, the other part of it and is he's, he's, the second coming. That's true. That's right. But anyways, this is what Christmas is all about, folks. Uh, the world was in need of a Savior because from the time of Adam and Eve, I mean, we were in trouble, folks. You know, people were dying and in a holding place until a savior came those who did uh have any heart for the lord at all but they didn't have a savior and uh but so adam, they were looking for this after, uh, after adam and eve sinned mm -hmm. um in genesis three fifteen is when the savior was first promised genesis yes well and then in the, at the in the garden of eden when they sinned he took, he, the first sacrifice was made. God himself had to kill an animal, animal and use the skins blood. to cover them. That was the first sacrifice. And mm -hmm. then all through history, there were sacrifices that were done, you know, for the killing of animals to cover. That was just to cover our sins. It didn't really wash them away. Something to you remind know. us. Yes, a shadow of what was going to be. And then when Jesus came. He was the Messiah. He was the Lamb of God. And John the Baptist said, seeing him come, and he says, Behold, oh, the Lamb of God, who taketh away the sin of the world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, sure, and you really know the word, girl. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I have been the local director for the Faith Bible Institute okay. going on 15 years. Oh, well, years. I'm just a pain in here. So, but <laughs> I, I should know a little bit about it. Okay, but anyways, we just want to thank Sharon and thank you guys for and watching. Prayer. What else? A prayer. Okay. My husband is the director here. He reminds me. So, <laughs> Lord, we just uh, thank you for my friends and everybody else who is watching this channel, Lord. And I just pray that the spirit of Christmas and, and uh, our Savior will just rest upon everyone, Father. And bless everyone, Father. Heal their bodies if they need it. And if they're lonely, Lord, just bring someone into their lives and just god bless them in every way and their families father bless them all in jesus name love you guys bye now amen <laughs> okay thank you